Uh, today, uh, today's block of the day is going to be a rescue block, actually. We have a post-operative day one patient who had an infraclavicular catheter placed. Uh, she had a, a distal radius bone graft to a, uh, a non-healing pinky finger, non-healing fifth finger lesion. And uh, what the uh, unfortunate circumstance is that although her distal uh, radial bone graft is, this is the cup, of, cup is half full uh, outlook, but although the distal radial uh, source of the bone graft is not painful, uh, and although almost all of her fingers are numb as a result of the infraclavicular catheter, unfortunately the one place that we have some significant sparing is in fact uh, the pinky, uh, i.e. ulnar distribution, i.e. incompletely or missed completely uh, medial cord component. So what we're going to do, we tried to bolus the infraclavicular catheter to rescue the pain. Wasn't much benefit and she's having pretty significant moderate to severe pain anywhere from 6 to 8 out of 10 in severity uh, and rather than send her back home empty handed with some nauseating Percocets to take, we're going to try to at least get her an additional 18 to 20 hours of analgesia by doing a rescue single injection ulnar nerve block uh, just below the elbow. We'll go ahead and get started. Okay, my typical way to do an ulnar nerve block at the elbow. And you don't